Hello guys, my name's Asim Rant and welcome back. This is 49ers News. Now, this news has been out for about a day or two ago. So it's not really breaking news. So, we beat the Vikings Sunday. Really good game. It was a bloody brilliant game. It was like a playoff game. We did really, really well. An hour before it starts. Oh no, sorry. Let's take it back to the beginning. Against the Jags, we beat them. It wasn't really hard. But we had them. Post the interviews come up, Shanahan was asked, um, you know, is Jimmy G's future here? Or is Jimmy G's future somewhere else? And he said, I don't know, it's tied up to, it's tied up to him, the team, and so forth. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. No one knows anything and nothing. Hour before, well, all the week growing up, Everything was normal, nothing was said, everything was all tickety-boo. And then an hour, an hour before the game starts, you get this. So, as you can see right here, the 49ers plan to trade Jimmy Garoppolo and start Trey Lance in 2022. So, let's read this first, and I'll see what I think. 49ers head coach Shanahan suggested last week that it's conceivable that... Quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo could return to the team in 2022, but it's not all the club's intent, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. The 49ers to intend to trade G uh, Jimmy Garoppolo in the offseason to clear the deck for the first draft, the first round draft pick of Trey Lance, who has been groomed for the role from the sideline as a rookie this season. Absent a Super Bowl run, which is at this point is still uh, theoretically impossible, this is the 49ers' plan next season to start Trey Lance, trade Jimmy Garoppolo. Not a surprise there, they've been pretty uh, pretty upfront about it as well, Rappaport uh, said on Sunday on the NFL game day morning. What Groblo is doing now is increasing the value of picks the 49ers get in the trade involving him, and they make it more likely that a place he wants to go would want to take him. With Groblo at the helm of all but one start, the 49ers are 5-5 five and five and remain in the playoff hunt. Uh, admit in a tough, decision, uh, tough division with the, uh, the Cardinals and the Rams and one of the top teams in the NFC. Grubbolo has completed 170 of 254 passes this season for 2,112 yards, 12 touchdowns and only 5 interceptions. A strong finish would certainly make him more appealing around the league. It's also worth noting that the 2022 quarterback draft class isn't presented to be especially strong, which could bolster the market for free agent quarterbacks, trade-worthy veterans like Grubbolo. Now... That was all before the game started, and then the game started, the game finished, and then we kicked ass against the Vikings, and it was like a playoff game. And Jimmy Garoppolo played really, really well. I thought he was really, really good. But do you still want him? Because he's still going to be that same Jimmy G. The same bloke. Doesn't matter if he wins a game or not win a game. He's still going to be the same bloke. So what, so what do you do? Do I think he's going to go? So my thoughts on it. If they get him to a playoffs, maybe a conference, the NFC conference, maybe, but then loses. They might keep him for the extra year. Might. That's what I think. If they don't get into a playoffs, or maybe one or two other playoffs, I think they'll still get rid of him anyway. They'll trade him on. But it just seems... Uh, very weird that they could have got rid of him in January and then never. It's weird that you know the guy was you know Trey Lance is on the side yet you drafted free for this bloke. You drafted you know picks of picks to get free, and yet he's sitting on the sideline. I would love to Trey Lance to start. 49ers made a great decision to get him, but for not doing it, I don't understand. Especially against the Jags, it made no sense to me whatsoever. You're 20 something against three or something in the fourth quarter. Bring him on. Jimmy G got hit. He got sacked in the fourth quarter. Why would you get your man hurt like that? You know what he's like. You know what Jimmy G's like. He's not a quick throw out accuracy. You know, he has the ball. He doesn't know where to go. By the time he's got hit, he's he's stuffed. We know he's not quick. So why didn't you pit Lance on? 
I want Lance to start now. No, technically, he could go against the Seahawks this Sunday coming up. Sorry, this Monday, sorry, coming up. The Monday night game. He can actually do it. Not the Monday night game, the Sunday night game. Sunday night football is the late one. He can do it. Like, he can actually do it. Trey Lance, I think he can win against the Seahawks. They've been terrible. Washington beat them. Was it 17-15 or 15-13 or, you know. The Washington weren't that good either, but still Seahawks. Not good. Trey Lance could start. Why not? He could do it. But they won't. They'll keep Jimmy G doing it. If they go up to the NSC conference and they lose, they might keep him because he's done that well to give him another run. If it goes into the playoffs and loses the first or second game, maybe the third, you know, maybe the first or second, or go straight into it and then lose, or don't even get it through the wild card and we lose, he'll be gone. But that's my thoughts. Um, leave a comment, guys. Tell me what you think. Is Jimmy G going in 2022? Or is he not going in 2022? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Thank you very much for the 54 subscribers as well. I'm very fortunate. I appreciate you guys subscribing. If you're new, subscribe. I was a lot more 49 news reactions, reviews, and so forth and so forth. Keep an eye on my channel, put the uh, notification bell on, and I'll bring out something new every day. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.